Welcome to Connection, Connection Corner. Corner. I'm Miss Kilpatrick. And I'm Miss Leeper. Have you ever heard about personal space before? Yeah, there's spaceships and stars and planets like Mars and Jupiter. No, silly, not outer space, personal space. Tell me more about personal space. Why tell you when I can show you? The hula hoop represents our personal space or your bubble. In this big room all by yourself, is there anyone in our personal space? No. And he is able to move around without anyone getting in his personal space or without him popping anyone else's bubble. Now there's two kids in the room. How is everyone's personal space? Everyone's bubble is still intact. Wow, look how many people are in this room without popping each other's bubbles. That's because they're being still right now. What happens when they start moving around? Is it harder to keep your personal space when you're moving around? Let's move around and see. Oh wow, it looks like people aren't paying attention to each other's bubbles and are popping them all over the place. These kids don't look like they are enjoying other people being in their personal space. Let's try that again. Wow, it's so calm with everyone moving around and keeping their personal space. Part of respecting each other's personal space is paying attention to our own bodies and making sure we're not getting in someone else's personal space. It was fun to learn about personal space with hula hoops, but do we usually have a hula hoop around us? No, we have to learn how to imagine those hula hoops around other people. Different people have different size hula hoops. Your hula hoop may even be different sizes for different people or different activities. When you're sitting in your calming corner, your hula hoop might be really big because you don't want anyone to be around you. Other times, your hula hoop may be really small, like when you're sitting on the carpet listening to your teacher read. If you feel like people are getting in your hula hoop space, you can say, I need more space. Your hula hoop may be really small with your best friend or the adults that you live with because you might like to give a lot of hugs or cuddle. Your hula hoop might be really big with a stranger, especially if they make your uh-oh feeling go off. Sometimes our hula hoop is somewhere in between, like with family or friends that you haven't seen in a while. You like them, but you don't want them in your personal space. Did you know that your hula hoop can even change? One day you might want to hug your best friend, but the next day you might not want them to touch you at all. And that's okay. Thanks for learning about personal space with us today. Look, our bubbles are getting smaller. And now they're getting big again. When we respect each other's personal space, we, we all have the power to connect. connect.